Hello friends, today we are launching our new Retrofit Smartify Pro series. We already had Smartify standard series for Retrofit in the market, but we have done certain improvements uh, in this series. We have provided a two-way connection support that was not there in the standard series. Also, we have increased the warranty to one year. In the standard series, the warranty was the six months. So here we have seven models in front of you for this new Pro series. So our first model is NS11, which is a 16 ampere single output node that can be used for AC, geyser, motor or any other heavy appliances. It comes with energy monitoring. Most of the 16 ampere nodes do not have the energy monitoring support, but this module this uh, have the energy monitoring support also. Then we have two node uh, module through which you can control two lights. Then we have four node in which you can control the four output for on off uh, outputs in the five node we have two models a standard five node where you can control the five uh, on off or the five lights and also we have in the five node uh, four light outputs and one fan output so the p1 to p4 those uh, four point can be used for light control and the fan output can be controlled you to control the fan speed smartly using the uh, mobile app alexa voice control or the google voice control in the six nodes we have two different model model again here we have a standard six output uh, six node module where you have six outputs as well as we have five outputs and one 16 ampere outputs so five outputs are the standard light outputs and the one 16 ampere output can be used for heavy appliances like AC, geysers, motor. So you have five standard nodes and one 16 ampere node in this uh, NS61 16A model. The wiring of this Pro series is different and much simpler than our standard series. So we have done a wiring improvement. So wiring of six, uh, this series uh, cannot be applicable on a standard series or vice versa. So now we are going to explain you the wiring of our uh, pro series so friends here we are uh, to tell you how to wire the smartify pro series modules uh, with your uh, existing switches so we have shown you existing with the existing switch board you have a switch board where for example this bulb is connected to our first switch so we are showing you starting with the existing wiring so if you see the existing wiring we have a phase module phase coming into your switch and the phase going out to your bulb neutral in the homes is typically connected directly to the bulb uh, but to show here we have a neutral also connected to the bulb okay so we first of all to start with the wiring a safety precautions that you turn off your mcb so that the power supply can be cut so currently we we have the power supply coming here if you see my tester so we need to cut the power supply so we are here we are cutting the power supply so that we can safely do the wiring after cutting the power supply what we need to do is if you see the pro series module we have L and N which is a phase input and the neutral input then we have output P1, P2, P3, P4 and if you have a module with the fan speed control you will see also an F1 otherwise you will have P1, P2, P3 uh, uh, outputs for your lights on the other side of the module you have S1, S2, S3, S4 and if you have purchased the fan module then there will be a fan also printed on one of the uh, connection and there are there must be a wiring wires coming out from s1 s2 s3 s4 uh, uh, side so what you need to do is you need to take out your uh, output wire the half of your uh, switch or your appliance and remove it from the switch so bulb uh, 
so bulb output now will go from r output so i am connecting it to p1 so the phase that was going from the switch to the bulb is no more going from the switch it's going from the p1 port of r module and the switch that from where the uh, half of the bulb was connected the phase was connected you need to connect s1 so i am connecting s1 on to the switch my s1 is connected on to the switch so my switch wiring is completed i have not so there was a phase connected which is still connected and now s1 is connected on the output side of the switch as module requires both phase and neutral so we need to connect the phase phase since already coming in our switches so we will take the phase from here itself as you see the phase is looped in all the switches so i am taking the phase from the second switch and i need to connect the phase to on to the l point of the module here is the l point so i need to connect this phase to the l point now we have the neutral so in your board the neutral will already be coming if uh, neutral is must to install this uh, module so i am taking neutral from uh, uh, the cable that is coming here and i am connecting neutral to the end point if you see the corner point is the end point where i will be connecting the neutral so this way my wiring is completed i have taken out the phase of the bulb from switch and put it on p1 i have taken extra phase uh, another uh, wire piece and take the phase from the uh, line side and connected it to l1 i also connected the neutral and where we removed the phase for the bulb we have connected the s1 point on to that switch so this way our wiring is completed for switch 1 so sometime the question also comes how to connect our uh, fan regulator with the if uh, there is a fan manual regulator with the switch so we have a regulator here regulator always have a two wires one is connected to your fan going to the fan and another one is connected to the switch so you need to remove the wire from the switch side of your uh, for your regulator and you need to connect this regulator to f1 p1 p2 p3 any output but if you have the fan model in which the speed control is there in that case you can uh, you need to connect it to the f1 so here you can connect the regulator part second part of the regulator you don't need to connect because it is it must already be connected to your Fan. so this way your wiring gets completed so let's try to switch it on and see if that uh, this works
so you see our light is off so light is on uh, and we switch it off so now this light is controlled through the module because the wire to the bulb is going from the p1 port of the module so this switch is basically sending indication to module to switch it off and actually the module is switching off or on this light so this way your wiring is completed and we have already explained the uh, when you uh, when the power is on in the module you will see a green blinking light on the back side of the module this if it this light indicates that switch is on module is on and working perfectly uh, and we need to uh, do the wi-fi configuration so that it can be controlled from mobile apps alexa and other uh, voice control like google home etc so how to do the wi-fi configuration we will tell you uh, shortly uh, so i think wiring is completed your electrician job is over and now we can move on to the uh, wi-fi uh, configuration this wiring that i just explained is also provided uh, wiring diagram comes with the product in uh, if you uh, if you open the uh, product there will be a wiring diagram that will come with it and the same thing is explained in that wiring diagram that you need to provide phase onto the l neutral onto the n all the s1 s2 s3 will be connected to your all switches and output to your lights or fan or the regulator will go from p1 p2 p3 and like that so please follow this wiring diagram carefully so we have already done the wiring and after the wiring we need to do the wi-fi configuration so here we move on to the wi-fi configuration part so as uh, i explained uh, once the module is up like phase and neutral is connected to the module you will see a green blinking light on in the module so once you see the green blinking light it must be blinking slowly like this that you see currently if you do on off any of the switch seven times minimum uh, although you can do eight or nine times in case if any event is missed so that slow blinking green light will change to the fast blinking state so let me try to show you how to put it into the settings mode because settings mode is necessary to do the wi-fi configuration so this is the first step that you need to do so we need to do seven times minimum seven times uh, toggle the switch so we have already connected the s1 switch uh, s1 uh, from the module to this switch first switch which turns on our bulb also so you need to do uh, when you are switching on and off you need to keep the speed uh, slow enough and fast enough to do uh, make sure that your bulb is on on every on and your bulb is off on and every off okay so we are starting now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you see now the green light started blinking fast. So that means the device is in the settings mode now. Now we can uh, uh, start on to the Smartify app. So you go to the Smartify app if there is no previous device you will see a blank screen uh, dashboard where you will see a plus sign in the middle so if you press the plus sign it will ask you the serial number and the activation code serial number and the activation code is printed on the module on the back side where you see the uh, green light blinking on that side itself the serial number and the activation code is printed it's also printed on your packaging box there is a sticker also available on the packaging box uh, where the serial number and the activation code is printed so either you can note it down from here and enter in your app so in the serial i am entering the serial number and in the password uh, in the activation code i am entering its activation code one If you press add the device will be added and it will ask you 
to do the configuration you can start the configuration by pressing next in case you miss this screen and you want to start the process again you don't need to delete or add the device you can again click on the wi-fi icon on the top and you can start the same process you will come to the same screen it will ask you first uh, four points to make sure that uh, the wi-fi configuration is success uh, goes successfully so your device should be in the settings mode which we already did your uh, location uh, permission should be allowed and your location should be on that you can check so here if i go into my settings and more setting my location is on perfect and your 4 is connected to your 2.4g wi-fi network so if you have a dual band network please make sure your phone is connected to your 2.4g network so I press next it will it's asking the location permission so give it give the location permission while using this app now select the serial number of the device press next select it will give you if it's an iphone it will show you the uh, wi-fi name to which your phone is connected if it's an android phone you will get a list of uh, the wi-fi that are available so i'm selecting my wi-fi from here which is the name smartify when press next it will ask you the password of your wi-fi enter the password Please make sure you are entering the correct Wi-Fi password. Okay. Press next. On iPhone, it will ask you to join. On Android phone, it will ask you to connect. Press on connect. And you see a success message that Wi-Fi parameter configured successfully. The moment it's configured successfully, the green light will start blinking slowly. And if your name and password is correct, and if Wi-Fi is within the range, the green light should become stable. As you can see, the green light is stable. Now, since the green light is stable, we can. Uh, that means the Wi-Fi configuration is successful, and we can now control the devices. So, I can switch on, switch off my bulb from the mobile app. This is how you can do the Wi-Fi configuration. Thank you.